Alrighty there, what's up there, ladies and gentlemen? Use my services to can boom, boom, boom. <sighs> I've been running. I'm, I'm happy, but I've just, I've got to work actually. So, uh, there's nobody here right now. So I wanted to turn the camera on. Uh, I'm happy because I've been running and invigorating my spirit and a bit of meditation. Hang on. I can just put the camera here. How's that? How's that? Whoa. Yeah, so uh, a bit of meditation time really helping me to calm my mind out in nature. The same thing, I've, you've seen it before, I sit under a tree. I thought I'm not gonna film it because I'm just sat there in silence get the idea we'll get to that in a minute I want to show you my new gadget my new toy to play with I just thought I'd tell a story first and stay warm it's not been all that sunny I suppose that that's the thing I often film uh, sun gazing when it's sunny and I kind of let you guys in on it because I feel like it's beautiful and it looks cool this morning it's just cloudy as can be <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, that's no fun for anybody just sitting watching me under a tree in silence. I don't actually do that with my fingers. I do that actually with my, my hands. And I set an alarm. I always set an alarm for like 45 minutes. It calms my mind. It puts me in a place of positivity. So I'm less affected by the negativity. It makes me like a duck who can just ruffle its feathers and brush off some of the pain and the heartache and the struggle of being in a crap job that's not much fun. So that's kind of my advice. I'm trying to like offer some advice from the broke guy <laughs> uh, at the garage. My advice is, even though it might feel like you haven't got time, spend some time, set an alarm, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, I'm pushing myself to 44 minutes of just sitting there. And it's important to have that alarm set so it's like, you don't have to think about anything. You know the alarm will go off. You know the timer will, will go off. So you don't have to think, am I late? Uh, am I nearly done yet? Whatever, and my mind begins to wander and it begins to figure out things in my life that I could kind of fix and repair and what about this and what about that? I'm able to go deep into the maze and I suppose I've talked about meditation before but I just wanted to you know, tell you how beneficial it's been in helping me maintain a calm state, keep calm and carry on even though circumstances might be, not be conducive to happiness, right? So I'm managing to stay afloat by the power of my mind. <laughs> and also the things I'm listening to on the audiobook. this is amazing in here, what's going on. I'm listening to uh, more stuff about money and riches and change your life, change your mind. It's all about money, like all the stuff about money I'm surprised it's all about the mind. It's like, what? It's all a mind game. None of the books I've read about money have been like saying, work harder or do more hours or um, save up. Don't spend any money on the latte and instead, you know, pick up a penny if you drop it. Actually, you know what I have been doing? I saw some like a 2P that I found uh, you know, on the floor, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up. You know that classic thing, like, if you see a penny, pick it up. But I used to be like, no, it's stupid, it's only a penny. It's, only, it's still only a penny, even if I pick it up, I'm still only a penny richer. What's the point? But I came to the realization through listening to these money books, money audio books, coming soon, I'll share them with you. Uh, it was like, if you don't value money, if you don't respect it and collect it and love it, then it can't come to you. And I'm like, wow, that was a, like a mind opening thing, like boom. All this time, if I have a bit of change, 
I'm quite partial just even throwing it in the trash. I'm like, I don't want to carry this, it's jingling in my pockets. Not like a big amount of money, but just a few pennies. I'm like, I'll just throw it away. Or if I see money on the floor, I don't pick it up. Like, my pride is too great to be like, oh, I don't, I'm not picking that up, I don't need that. But I realize my attitude is pushing away money like I don't want it, like I don't need it, like it's not for me. And instead I should be collecting money. Like, ooh, I see money here, like, what's this? Pick it up, oh, cool, I'm collecting money. Like, the vibration of that is different. The attitude is like, hey, money, that's for me. I like money, that's, what, it's, it's energy, it's uh, riches, it's wealth, it's abundance. I'm part of that, <laughs> like that's for me, that's awesome. So that really brings to me to my next item, which is what we were getting to. I've spent some of my money on my Envision deadline. I've got a deadline, I've got, well I don't have a deadline actually. I've got a vision, I've got a goal to go to Fiji okay so I want to have some like I want to spend my money on some step in the right direction towards Fiji right I don't want to just be sat here with this job and just saving up and for this endless deadline where you set like oh in a year I'll go in a year or I'll go in who's to say you couldn't go in Six months. Like, if you set a deadline for something, then you might be actually holding yourself away from your goal. Like the stuff in the money book I'm listening to, it says, if you set a goal to be a millionaire in one year, what if you could have been a millionaire in a month? Like, how do you know? You might do something really awesome, start something, you know, that's incredible and abundant. You could be a millionaire in a month, right? Don't set a goal that's restrictive to say, oh, it's going to take a year, that far away date. So for me, and the dream of Fiji, the dream of traveling the world, I'm like, I should put my money towards something. So I put it towards this. It's a Sea to Summit tarp poncho. <laughs> Right? So it's a jacket. It's an ultra waterproof jacket with 70D waterproof fabric. I don't know what that means, but it says it there. Uh, and it isn't just a jacket like to wear. It's much more than that. It's a tent in all shapes and sizes or a bivy bag or a tarp. It's a shelter. So you put it on when it's raining like a poncho. But then if you want to camp out in that area, you can hook it up, like clip it on. So I haven't opened it yet. As you can probably tell, it's still in its box. Well, it's not really a box, you know what I mean? It's still in its bag, in its packaging. This is the unboxing. See the Summit unboxing. 400 grams. 400 grams, okay. It's pretty heavy but I guess it's super waterproof. Now, Clint already sent me a wish list ultra lightweight waterproof jacket. It's only 150 grams or something. It's really, really, really lightweight. That's pretty cool. It's got its own little holder. It is two and a half meters by one and a half meters, so it's massive. So the thing with the Montane waterproof, it's super lightweight and super thin, but over time it does begin to let water in. I went in the shower with it and I was like, hey, it's waterproof. That was for only just a few minutes. I have been out for like all day in the rain and I eventually I did start to get wet. Also, the jacket, I can't pin it up into it. I can't live in it. This is a jacket and a tent. Like, I just think that's incredible. I bought two things. I bought a waterproof jacket and a tent combo. Now I'm not I'm I'm not expecting it to look cool. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. Look at it. It's just a big flopper. It's a flopper. So there's your hood. It's got a little 
stylish black. I don't know why they put that in there. It's just look cool. Um, let's put it on. Ironically, it's kind of like good weather here, but I think in tropical climates all around the world, I'm going to need to stay dry. Yeah! <laughs> awesome! Woo! So, it's nice to have a proper jacket, and I can just wear this if it's really pouring down. And then I'll, I'll have my waterproof sleeve sticking out, I guess, so my arms shouldn't get too wet. My legs will get a bit wet but the main core of my body will stay dry and stay warm, which is what's important. Once you get wet, it's pretty miserable. I guess I could roll my arms up if I needed to and just get wet arms. As long as I keep my main core dry and my backpack or whatever I've got with me, I can all fit it under here. And then here's the Go Go Gadget moment. Go Go Gadget tent, <laughs> right? Now it's raining, it's raining, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. I'm gonna then go, oh no, let's set up camp, quick. There's a little hook thing, I haven't got any string attached. I guess I need to attach some string. <laughs> but there, it's got a proper, well, uh, you know, it's sewn on really well. It well, good quality, well manufactured. It's made to be super tough. Rip stop nylon. Rip stop. So, for example, I'll tie it on here because I haven't got any string with me. So. No way I can really give you a proper example yet. Rip stop. It's raining, it's raining, quick, it's raining. It's raining, get under there, quick. I guess you need to tie the hood up, otherwise rain's gonna come in the hood. <laughs> that's, my, that's no good, You've gotta tie the hood. can sleep under here if I pin it to a tree yeah, it's pretty wide I'm just looking around for like is there something I can use yeah what about this Oh, it's got screws in it. I was going to attach it to this thing here. You just need some other, like, tree or something to hook it to, but look. It's got some sketchy screws. Sketchy. So, you get the idea. It will attach to something else. And it will have a a waterproof surface. I need to get the uh, the strings attached. I didn't think of that. No, I was so busy like, yeah, go, go, gadget. Uh, tarp, poncho. Uh, it's, just, it's a tent and it's a jacket. Woo! Okay, I think that's all I can really do for now. No one's going to be here for another five or ten minutes, but I just don't want to be like filming and, and acting silly and uh, with my poncho out, they'll be like, what are you doing? So they don't really know, I don't tell them like I do uh, YouTube or, or video blogging or OnlyFans or I don't tell them about any of that stuff. I just kind of keep my head down. I'm just a guy and I'm just making some money and you know, it is what it is. So. Alright, my name's Seb, this is the Cam. Boom.
This is Sebcam. Piece of fruits. Piece of fruit. We're not open yet, but we'll be open later. Bye.